Hello folks and welcome, KDE Neon 6.0. That would be on the KDE Plasma version 6.0.4. So I created two icons in the actual menu that does this. So power off the system, it just requires me to hit enter at this point because KRunner found that immediately when I hit P. Same thing goes with R for reboot. All I gotta do is hit enter or I can just use my mouse and click that. I don't require any icons on my desktop. These things are in the menus. I called it Power Stuff. I created a subcategory for it. You don't need to. I can place these things in here anywhere. These icons can also be added to your desktop and pinned to the Task Manager. You can also click those. If any of this stuff interests you, then I would suggest watching the video in its entirety, filming in 1920 by 1080. Welcome, folks. So Linux is for any age, but the name of my channel is Linux for Seniors. And don't let the name for it, uh, so I should say, don't let the name deter you from subscribing. Look for that icon of that person in the corner there if you like to subscribe. 300 videos, 350 videos and growing. All right, so how do we create this stuff? Well, first of all, um, I will give you a couple of cautions. You should always save all of your work before using any power type of stuff, whether it's these and this one has a 30 second timer and you can click OK or you can hit cancel. These do not do that. So again, K runner can be achieved by doing that. Also, these are the same icons as this one right here. All right, I'm going to do this from scratch, except we're not going to create it in here. I'm going to be making it part of the system here. Okay, so I'll put them in here. I did this earlier also, but I'm going to do this all from scratch and actually show you the location of where they're stored. So I think that's important for troubleshooting. So go to your home folder if you do this, if you do this after you create this and they're stored in here in a hidden folder. Hamburger menu, control H, show hidden. Period local dot local, open that up, share applications and power off and reboot. I'm going to wipe clean so we can do this from scratch. I'm going to turn off hidden, make that smaller, hit close. And I'm going to also get rid of the subcategory. I just deleted the icons, but the subcategory is still there. Right click on this icon, hit edit applications. I'm going to remove that. Okay, so there's a delete feature here. If you'd like to, I'm going to hit save first. If you'd like to create a subcategory, then it's right click on your application launcher. Edit application is the first item in the menu. And you can actually create a new sub menu. If you do, it'll create like one of these. Then you can create items, but that's not what I'm going to do here now. I'm going to take an existing one like you have. The ones with the arrows mean that, that there's something more than one thing in here. These do not have anything in them, but these do. So I'm going to click on system for a second and click the arrow. So you can see all the goodies that are stored in here. You can also do the same here. So I'm going to add two more items in this menu. All right, so we're going to go to new item, new item, and we're going to give this a name. I'm going to call this one power off. Power off. Spelling doesn't count either. I'll call it system. It makes it easier to understand. Keep in mind, you can put whatever language you want underneath here. The command that I'm going to give you here in a minute is the most important one, but put something you understand what it does. Power off system is pretty self self explanatory. Okay. We're going to assign it an icon It's currently blank and it defaults to applications and you can see the scroll bar. You can pick something in here. They're just icons uh, or you can go with all. I'm going to only say this once. If you decide to use your own icons, you can go browse and we'll find them in your file manager. If you decide to use your own icons, you put them in a folder, give the folder a name. And then once you use one or more icons, I've given the same advice over the years. Do not move the folder. Do not rename the icon. Once you use one or more out of that folder, 
because if you rename the icon or the folder, you'll get a blank icon on your next reboot. So let's stick with something we know if you're going to play. So I'm using nothing but system icons. So these are something you should have if you're on the same version of KDE. So what I'm going to do is select all. And since we're dealing with power off, another name for that is shutdown. S U T shut. System shutdown icons has two of them, the symbolic one and the regular one. I'm just going to use this one. It's a simplistic icon. If you feel like you need to use a fancy icon, you can pick something different. It's not a requirement that you pick this icon, but I thought I'd at least point it out. It's in here. All right, so I have two of the requirements out of three. I don't need to fill out all these goodies. All I need is a command line argument. The command line argument on this one is power off. I, sorry about that, I just banged the microphone. So P-O-W-E-R-O-F-F, -F, all lowercase, is the command. Name, icon, command line, argument. That's all I need. I don't need to fill out any more goodies. I'm going to hit save. When I hit save, I'm going to come back to this. It's going to move the command line argument into program. It does an interesting effect, and that's what the magic of this all does. So I'm going to click New and use the word reboot system. Yeah, I know my mouse is covering that up, but anyways. Reboot system is what I'm gonna call the next item. All right, we're gonna pick an icon for that one. I'm gonna clear the field, go to all, and type in the word REB. There is a reboot icon in here also. There's two of them. Very simplistic again. If you don't like those black and white ones, of course, go pick a colored one or a icon that you can put in there. Let's put it that way. All right, so the command line argument for this one is R-E-B-O-O-T, lowercase. The word reboot, R-E-B-O-O-T. All right, so three lines is all you need, and you hit save. Now, you notice it's sitting here currently. When I toggle this back to here, you'll see that command switched over to power off here and also here. That's what does the magic. It, instead of me writing a script file, it takes the command line argument, dumps it into programs, and makes this magic work. Okay, we're done. It's literally in the menus now. I hit P. It finds power off, that's great. I can just hit enter, I can click with my mouse and powers down the system. I can hit R, it will do a reboot. If I hit enter or click with my mouse. What should I do before doing any of that stuff? Save your work. If you've got documents open, save them. If you've got web browsers open, save those links. Save the information before you start touching any of these kind of power things. That one's 30 seconds. The reboot on this one is our restart. Okay, notice that icon is the same. So is that shutdown icon. But I have a cancel option here. I don't have this option here. So basically, if I click that reboot, it will reboot immediately or power off the system immediately. If I don't want to click, I can also open the menu up and just type in PO and click or enter. K-Runner is your best friend, P and enter. That's all. If it's not highlighted, then go find it in the menu. Again, save your work. Can you place these on your desktop? Yes. I will find them. One, add to desktop. Add to desktop. Second icon is over here. These are double click. If you decide to move them over here, I know they're kind of big. But uh, that all depends on the setting over here, by the way. You know, you can adjust that. Um, these sometimes will move back over here. Just be aware of that. These are not required, though. These are double clicks. What happens when you place them on your panel? Oh, that's when I'm going to caution you severely. All right, so I'm just going to type a, a PO so I can find it real quick and add it to the task manager. And you'll see it pop up down there. 
and then I'll type in RE for reboot and do the same. These icons are single click. To give you that example, I'll click the Firefox. I don't need to click twice, in other words. So what would happen if you inadvertently click that? Is it going to ask you to reboot? No, it's going to reboot the system immediately. If I inadvertently click that one, it's going to power off the system. So this is not a good idea in my book. Again, it's your system. You can choose to uh, put those things there. Again, it's nice and convenient, but it's also dangerous at the same time because you are at risk of shutting down your system immediately. I prefer these, but better yet, use KRunner. All you got to do is hit P, hit Enter, or click R, hit Enter, or click for reboot. So I'm going to gently remove these. Gently. At least with this, when you click it, you have a second chance of canceling. Those other icons I just showed you, you do not get that chance. These are very fast icons, and you can click them in these menus also, and they will perform that action immediately. It'll power down your system or reboot your system. This performs an actual shutdown and then reboot. This just performs a shutdown and stays shut down. You can try this on your own. Icons are stored again here. Go, go full screen, control H, look for period local or dot local, share applications. Okay, that, that's what I call them. You know, whatever name you gave them, they'll have, that one says power off system period or dot desktop. That one says reboot system period or dot desktop. Hopefully you found this informative. Thank you for watching.